How's it going, guys? Uh, this will be a review over my Yankee Hill backup iron sights. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this video pretty short and to the point, but uh, I'll try to give you a little bit of my background. I have not served in the military, nor have I been in law enforcement, but I have been an avid shooter and hunter all my life. Uh, this is my first AR-15. This is a uh, Colt LE 6920. I've had it for about three years. Within those three years, I've spent countless hours and countless time um, researching and studying the AR-15 platform. So what knowledge I've gained is just knowledge that I've learned. I'm not coming up with my own um, theories or opinions, really. I'm just trying to pass what knowledge I've learned on to you guys. So um, let's get this thing started. Um, these are just a flip-up model. Yankee Hill does make a QDS model, a quick deployment system that is spring-loaded. These are not. Um, okay, this is the rear back. Um, this is the rear sight. Uh, it's very nice. It runs for about a hundred bucks on Yankee Hill's website and about eighty-five or ninety on um, Midway or Brownells. Uh, when folded down, my only complaint with it is the fact that. Um, it's uh, not very low profile. It sticks up um, pretty high. Um, it's so high that I can't mount the scope I have um, for this gun with this with this mounted on my rail. I have to remove my um, I have to remove this um, in order to mount my scope, which bums me out. But um, I can I can deal with it. Uh, I have it mounted as far back as it'll go, and it um, it does not impede the operation of my charging handle at all. So no trouble there. Um, that, that's really my only complaint on that. That's very nice. Uh, okay, so we'll move up to the, um, the front. This is uh, uh, this is the same plane um, flip-up front sight. This runs for about 90 bucks on Yankee Hill's website and about probably 75 or 80 on Midway or Brownells. Um, let you listen to this click. That locks in very well. I like the clicks um, whenever these lock in. Um, very little play. I have this mounted as far forward as I can get it. Um, I'll give you guys a sight picture, but I'm just using my crappy um, phone camera, so it probably wouldn't be very good. But um, yeah, I think they'll do the job. Um, oh, one thing I did not point out is that there is a little bit of clearance between the receiver and that peep just in case you think that that was keeping it from folding all the way down um, so it is as far down as it'll go so yeah there's nothing I can do about that I'll just have to live with it um, but thanks for watching um, please comment if you have um, you know anything um, any advice you can pass on I'm I'm definitely um, up for instructional criticism uh, Want to do a shout out to uh, Hijack86 and CTK Precision for the um, for the shooting rest. This is a very nice rest. You need to check these guys out on um, that CTK Precision. But uh, all right, thanks guys for watching, and y'all have a good one.